Okay, and as you can see from the title, these are my 10 least favorite fish songs. Now, not necessarily, though. I guess a little disclaimer is the 10 least favorite in the rotation. You know, I could pick a song like Friday that they never play anymore, and that, that might be number one on the list. And then, as you know, songs like 10, 9, 8, eh, you know, it's like they're okay. You know, it starts out as songs that are like, all right, I wouldn't pick these, but now that I'm here and they're playing them, I guess I can live with this. And then you get all the way down to number one. It's like, all right, I'm leaving. I'm walking out of here. So I guess we'll just start right here at number 10. And as I said, um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate this, but there are songs I would rather hear than Grind. And Grind, I would say, is regularly, I pick basically if you, if they've played them three times or more, a minimum of three, maybe a couple. I think Knuckle Bone Broth might be on this list. It's only been played twice. But it's also relatively, you know, it's just a baby. It's just a baby. It's an infant baby. It's a knuckle bone baby. So being just that it's a baby, I still put it on the list because it's that bad. So at 10, we got Grind. And, not, you know, they don't flood us with Grind. But every now and then, and any time they play Grind, it's like, well, we could have got something else here. You know, it's nice to keep track of how old everyone is. And then at number nine, Steam. Perhaps the only controversial song on the list. And Steam does jam a little bit. I know there are times when I'm like, oh yeah, this is why people like Steam. But those are just few and far between for me. And then Julius, I, yeah, part of my deal with Julius is it's just always going to be the same thing. I you know, I got excited, the Gorge 98. I thought we had a jammed out Julius. Even made the jam chart. I have no idea why. <laughs> Just type one all the way. Nothing worse than a type one, Julius. And then Army of One, again, you know, I love me some page action, but Army of One, number seven on the list, you know, and some, it doesn't even seem like it's in the rotation, but believe it or not, it is Rise Come Together. If it wasn't for the fact that Rise Come Together usually does deliver a nice jam with it, it would probably be much lower on the list or higher on the list, I guess, either way, you know, it'd be, it'd be competing with a number one spot. Not a big fan of Rise Come Together, although, like I must admit, it does deliver a jam. And then while there's a lot of good stuff on Ghost of the Forest, there are some songs that have come out of this Ghost of the Forest, the Trey Quarantine. Although I don't know if any of the Trey Quarantine stuff made it on the list. Horn made the list. Where will Horn be? Will it be one? Coming in at number five, Drift While You're Sleeping. Usually played, maybe, you know, just at a point. It's, you know, out of the between this and a life beyond the dream i suppose i would prefer this and you know and at this point these are still songs like i don't totally hate these songs they're just songs i would rather hear now when we get in here to the final four these are songs that i borderline hate like if i'm at a show and they play horn which has happened in fact it happened right here in dayton ohio at the nutter center a little bit inappropriate of trey to bust out horn on me that night but so at number four we got horn i just don't like the way it sounds people can try to convince me all they want that it's a great song i'm not going to try to convince you it's not a great song other than to just say i don't like how it sounds and it's music it's supposed to sound good to the old ears and i just don't like horn i'll have to pick you up at eight o'clock whatever you know if it's a sentimental song for you like perhaps it is for some don't be offended that I shit on it. Horn. Knuckle Bone Broth Avenue. Already mentioned it. Don't like it. Never gonna like it. Hopefully it doesn't stay in the rotation. Doesn't become a regular from all the uh, sci-fi soldiers. And then A Life Beyond the Dream. Normally coming at the end of a show. You know, it's like we're working on a great set here. What are we gonna get late in this set, man? What are they gonna, what are they gonna blast us in the head with here? And then it's A Life Beyond the Dream. Bit of a buzzkill. And then more. Number one. The song that I would least like to hear at a fish show couch tour in person on spotify on the live fish app doesn't matter don't like more all right well, that was kind of that was kind of it man it's a four minute video boom we're out of here not that i go to shows but if i went to a show i wouldn't want to hear those there's a lot of songs i'd rather hear including gamma knife Oh, you think you got one more in you? One more King Gizzard video? Can you can you hack it? I mean, you're getting fish videos too, so that's good. But I got 10 more Gizzard songs for you. Now, these nests, this isn't my new top 10, but I'd say if I take that first 10, which I said were my 10 favorites, and I combine, you know, the new list would somehow be a combination of these. But we're going with 10 different. You know, I think the first time I mentioned King Gizzard on this channel, somebody hit me with Rattlesnake. And I had heard Rattlesnake, and I was like, I don't know about that Rattlesnake. Now I definitely know about Rattlesnake. Heard several versions live. 
they somehow pull that off and that banana album it doesn't seem like you know some of those precise changes just doesn't seem like it's going to work live but then they do a doom city another one got doom city here on the list but we'll start with rattlesnake crumbling castle was another one somebody mentioned right off the bat not even sure if i had heard crumbling castle at that point but not one that jumped out at me right away and then again you know i, I still feel like they're a studio band but hearing some of these songs live uh you know, kind of puts them over, and then I go back, I listen to it on the, the album again, and uh, it's like, oh yeah, you know, what was I missing the first time? Magenta Mountain, you know, so all three of these first three songs, certainly that way. Uh, that was another one, a lot of these from Red Rocks, obviously, too. Magenta Mountain, after that really just hardcore start, then they drift into Magenta Mountain, kind of ease into things, and then uh, Down the Sink, one that does not get pulled off live. But becoming quickly, you know, that probably would be in my top 10 now. Gamma Knife coming off of the um, fucking uh, Nonagon Infinity album. I was going to say, I just totally drew a blank there. And then uh, Doom City, as I already mentioned, another one. You know, that's the one that's totally, it just sounds like Black Sabbath. And then there's this change. And then they go back into Black Sabbath. And then Sleep Drifter. So we got several off of that album. Kind of got into that one heavy here over the last week or so. And then the fourth color, or as some may call it, the fourth color. The fourth color coming right along with the uh, Crumbling Castle on that same album. And, uh, which I'm not even going to try and pronounce. I do like the Flying Microtonal Banana, though. I don't know about some of these album titles. The, the title of the, the band's name and these album titles. I don't know, man. <clears throat> you know. So how about, why can't we just go with Team Stew? Alright, guys, that's enough. That's ten more Gizzard songs. Whoa, this video is even shorter. Well, I said the fourth color. That pretty much covers it. <laughs> all right, guys. Boom. We're out of here. I'm just a little bored in case you're wondering, like, what's up with all the videos? Seem kind of pointless. Hey, man. I'll order a fucking pizza if you don't watch it. I got more cabbage roll casserole to eat. Had donuts delivered at 730 this morning. That's pretty rad. All right. Boom. We don't need to go to three minutes. Hey, look. The storm's gone.